Hello YouTube, this is Tyans, and we are in the Minecraft. It is different from World of Warcraft. Um, I just decided to start recording um, for my Minecraft. I was going to do um, the productions of like when I first started, but I was not on my computer. I was on my laptop. So, um, here we are. And let's go ahead and go into my world. You can see... Um, I named mine Tyan Slants just because, and it was a copy of the one I had before because, um, I thought it was my other one, and I accidentally clicked recreate instead of create, so that's it. And test world is what I will be doing videos on for how to make things in Minecraft, and the demo world is just nothing. It's just an old world from when I first started playing. And I'm just going to keep it that way so I can like look back on it or something. So let's go ahead and go into my world. Okay, now as you can see right off the bat, it is an Arctic zone, which is a lot harder for some people because it snows and blizzards a lot. And some people just do not like that. And it is a lot harder because for one your water they can freeze like say you're farming your water can freeze and then your crops will die well I don't know if they'll die but your water will freeze and if your water freezes then it's not flowing so that would just like mess up your farm I don't exactly know if they still get hydrated because um I'm, I don't really like pay attention to that but, um, yeah, that is just something to know about my area. Now, let's just see what my area looks like. As you can see, there's torches around here to keep things from, spawn from spawning around. And here is my house. As you can see, there's a little thing right there. A tree. A big thing. And what looks like a trident. I'm going to show you what all three of those things are. Well, the tree is just tree. Um... That's like the only tree around here, besides that one over there, that is like the only tree around here. So I have to kind of, um, not cut the whole thing down. Here are my cows, um, I don't have that many of them because I just did a slaughtering before this video. So, they will, that's not that many. But the sheep, I obviously do not, tar um, I don't harvest them, I just do their cloth. And as you can see, most of them are red. I just thought that that looked look better with their environment they're in. And as you, know, you can see that there's one gray, one white, and one pink one. The gray one I just got um, the last time I went looking out for materials. And the pink one is the product of the red and the white one going together. So, I didn't even know that pink, that sheep could be pink, but apparently they can Okay, so as you can see, um, my house, I made this all by myself and no one else helped me, so I'm um, feeling pretty good about it. Um, I know there's still a bunch of things I can change to it, but I'm not to that stage yet. Well, first, this thing it is to help me for when I'm going out gathering and I need to know where I am if I do not have my compass. Most of the time I will carry a compass with me, but just in case I do not, then this will also help me. And also sometimes the compass um, doesn't work because I have beds in two places in case I'm staying there for a while overnight. And right here is where I put my dog. Um, I had one, but I have no idea where he went. I like let him go and he was just walking around my house and then I went out to get materials and now he's gone. So. I just put dog was here. I don't. I didn't have a name for him. I just kept him there because it was like the first dog I seen. So I just put him in there. Now, as you can see, there's the little jack o' lantern things, and I'm gonna show you what's up here before I go inside. As you can see, most of my stuff is made of bricks and cobblestone. I really like the cobblestone look with the roof, and over here is my cactus farm. As you can see, there's cactus, water flowing, and there's three levels. I was just going to make this one level, but 
I wasn't happy with how much cactus came out, so I made two more. And over here, I will get to that soon. Okay, so let's go down and into the house. Okay, first let's go this way. Um, I'm saving the inside of my house for last because this is like the biggest part. This is my farm. It used to be a wheat farm, but I got pretty much all the wheat I need for a while anyway, so I started growing pumpkins in it, and a few of the things did not grow right, so that's why you see some of the green, but most of the pumpkins are growing in the correct place. Some of them, they go like in a weird order, and right here is my sugar canes, sugar cane farm. I don't really harvest them that much because, um, I harvest them to make a cake, but then I just forgot and they just kept growing, so just left them there to kind of lighten up the room some. And I have glass on the outside to give it sort of a greenhouse effect. And right here is my chest for when I need to replant. I have my sugarcane, wheat, my wheat seeds, my pumpkin seeds, and my tree seeds. And two hoes um, in case they come back up. Now to go inside. Now as you can see there the house is made of stone. I just um like the nice look it gives to the house. It keeps it looking not too overbearing with colors, but also not too bland. Um right here is my chest where I keep my stuff when I just want to go in real quick and maybe make some things and then I'll just equip it all again. Um, that's downstairs, I'll show you that later. Right here is um, my crafting room. Right here I have my endless water source. I put these right here just to like symbolize cold water and hot water. Just right there. And it's marked water. And right here is smart cobblestone. It's an automatic cobblestone generator. All I have to do is knock this out and then another one will come. But I have not found a good way to do this without having to like build something really big so this is the best way um that i kind of found to make it and uh i don't believe anyone else has made it this way but um i guess someone somewhere has um this is my cactus farm the cactus just come out here and i usually just put them back in here um it's pretty substantial amount i think at least three come a minute and I think a Minecraft world is like 15 minutes so that's pretty okay as you can see one just comes out now they just come right here I was gonna make a hopper and just have it automatically go into the chest but for some reason I don't know why um, I can't put it in there so I just collect it every time I go in and out and just put it right in there okay now this room it does look really small I was um, it was intentionally going a storage room but then I decided that it's too small for storage room so um, I just made it into my craft stuff and go out through here I have a couch my bed bookshelf lights and the chest where I keep most stuff that um, are just special things or just things that I don't really have like I have the enchantment books that I got from gathering um, some diamonds I don't know what to do with some chests all kinds of stuff in here and an extra bed and some furnaces crafting tables and chests as well just some extra things in case I need them got a furnace right here and a crafting table and the floor is made of gray wool I decided that was better than just having the whole room look like this so I just put it that and here we go downstairs this right here oops go go up this right here is going to be my enchantment room once I get um, once I actually get my enchanting table I am working on that I do have my diamonds and um, I already have my obsidian generator it's just the uh, it's just the purpose of actually getting it in here I already have all the materials I just need to build and put it in and I'm I'm not really sure how enchanting works that's probably why I haven't done it yet but this is where it'll go I'll just put the enchantment table right there 
and for some reason you have books around it so I'm just going to put it in like a V shape and that will be that and going down the stairs to my storage room this is a large storage room and actually before like yesterday it was just this that whole part was cut off from this line it was just cut off and when I got down the ladder it was just right here and then I had to jump over and get right here and that was just it but then um, I decided to put more storage as you can see there's just two chests and with the name above and jack lanterns and maintain for a lighting source that's um, I don't really like the torches in here I don't know why it just looks better with the pumpkins and I just have them going all around if it does not have a sign on it that means that there's nothing in it I just extended it this way because I wanted to put um, these two extra chests in and it didn't make sense to just mine out just for those two so just did the whole area the same way um, as you can see there I have everything pretty organized my stone I have all my stone bricks right here my regular stone right here and mossy stone right here gravel that's only one thing wood planks dirt sand pumpkins iron cobble coal colors um, colors are the little dye things snow and redstone um, I have the snow blocks and also snowballs I don't really know why I have um, some of these chests some of these I could just um, I could just make something out of them but everything has a purpose in Minecraft so I don't really have a need to throw anything away so I just put it in the storage chest once it gets over two stacks and that's it down here um, it is a long way down this is the first thing I did in my room I mean um I did um for this area the first thing I did was I made a 5x5 five five layout and then I put some dirt over it so that would be my covering and then I went down here and I started mining now I already had better up actually on my first day in Minecraft I hit diamond I think it was like right somewhere over here and then because I didn't have any type of weapons or anything I mean um I didn't have any tools or anything so I just like dug all the cobblestone out and I just waited till I got some stronger tools and that was it and um, most people they they're like um, not, I'm not gonna say unlucky but most people it, it's kind of hard for them to find diamonds but for me it's pretty easy um, actually on the way down here I found pretty much all of the mining materials like the dirt the stone the gold the iron the diamond the redstone I found pretty much all that just in this area and I went out searching for um, some more wood so I can make some more chests and then I found an abandoned mine shaft so I just went through there got all the coal and gold and other materials out and I just sprung it right in here and now this is pretty much all I need um, eventually I will make like a separate parts for other materials but um, this is pretty good for right now get that cactus right there um, this is pretty good for right now and yeah if you um, if you want to know more about my world then just leave it in the comments and I'll answer it and if you like this video like comment share subscribe and I'll make more videos bye